Hey guys, Skiwi here. Today we're talking about killing the Bone Mass. He's the third boss in Valheim. He is considered one of the harder ones as they sort of ease you into the other bosses just to get a feel for Valheim. This guy I highly recommend taking on with a team, but he can be cheesed with strategies solo. Um, other videos will cover the cheesy ways. This is how to actually do it if you want to do it properly. Okay, so we're going to have a look at what the poison resistance potions actually cost. You are going to need these to take out bone mass or he will absolutely slaughter you. You only really, it depends how long you're going to fight him for, we only use two with three of us. But I would recommend just grabbing a stack, so each of these mead bases makes six. Just grab one for each player, take him in, just to be sure. It takes ten minutes. You get this little mead basey thingy. This is a serpent stew, but you get that. You chuck it into your fermenter for a couple of days, and bang, potions. So what you'll need is some honey. Can be found with bees, thistle, obvious in the black forest, necktails, killing necks, and some coal. So make a couple of them. Keep a stockpile like you would your frost resistant potions if you're up to the mountains or any type of mead base. Just make it, it'll pop straight in your inventory and cracker straight into there. Two days generally to make that cop out. Drop him out and wash, rinse, repeat. You, I highly recommend grabbing these for the bone mass because he does a lot of poison damage and he spawns the little oozy things that do more poison damage. So first of all, the bone mass will be found nearby in a swamp. Um, and nearby is subjective seeing as this is pretty much random. So you're wanna, gonna wanna go down into where you find iron, into the crypts, and one of them, random anywhere, will give you the little tablet to see where his location is, unless you magically find it. There is a skull in the ground in the middle of a swamp. If you do stumble across it, I will show you one screen here. And basically what he drops and what you're looking for is progression in the story, but also the wishbone. The wishbone will give you the ability to find hidden treasure silver in the mountains so you need it to progress past the iron age and he'll also give you a trophy uh trophy whoop de doo you can farm him for a number of wishbones we killed him once with three people and i picked up three wishbones so i'm guessing and this is a guess he just drops as many wishbones as many players have defeated him so one for each I'd recommend killing him a couple of times just to get extra wishbones just in case you die in the mountains you know it happens it's Valheim killing this guy also will progress you with the attacks on your base so you'll no longer just get swamp creatures attacking your base you'll just go back to getting random enemies or maybe even the fourth boss's attack phases which I can only assume are drakes so we're gonna get into it um, I'm just gonna show you a little strategy on how to kill him it's basically how we did it it's it's easy if you've got a couple of people if you've got iron shields um, don't hit him with anything sharp you're just gonna need a mace don't do anything else a mace a hammer whatever's blunt don't use bows and wonder why it's not working you can use frost arrows and stuff like that but just just get a mace a tower shield soak up damage he has phases so if you'll notice as this video is going on in the background he does spit the enemies out and they go and spawn wherever he spits it so he's, it's like a cannon push, flies out lands far away they come over so get one person who's ever closest to the spawns just to knock them over while we try and get the aggro onto us taking from the actual bone mass the other attack he does is he vomits and everything around him becomes poison so when he's about to vomit just roll dodge back a couple of times or to the side he stops dead so if you do have a bit of health and a bit of stamina it's good to get your mates or you to come around the back whoever's got the most or closest and able to do it to take the damage of the vomit while you've got the poison resistance shit going and just give him a couple of whacks take the damage take the hit move away either chuck a potion in or just regenerate your health and regenerate some stamina i did find he didn't do much damage when i had my shield so it was like 0.1 so when I'm blocking attacks, I was fine. It's just getting your mates to attack from the sides. Doing solo, it would be better to take the hit 
or dodge roll his attacks bash him and then just do a couple of laps try and keep the skull in the middle where he spawn what spawns him and just move around it in a circle if you're doing it solo keep him and you and the skull in between each other take out the mobs just roll dodge watch your stamina watch your stamina because it's a killer in this game and take your time if you're going to solo it don't rush in like if you want to build a portal in in and out and cheese it you can there's nothing against it but basically just watch your stamina take a heap of medium healing potions like you can ferment them up while you're waiting for the poison resistance stuff to come through it's not hard chuck that on it'll heal you up real quick grab some stews grab your sausages all that just to make life a little bit easier so as you're rolling through he does go through the phases the rain gets harder i haven't seen the rain really hurt you that much but as he gets closer to death he does increase how often he does the attacks so at the start he's slow he's moving around and at the end of it he's spitting out mobs more and just vomiting everywhere so you just got to watch that watch your health don't get greedy as we do towards the end one of us dies and the other two of us nearly dies that's basically it guys i can leave you with a little bit of content on how we killed him this is streamed on youtube so this channel right here you're watching i do stream on and we do valheim 90 percent of the time if you want to check out my description down below it'll show you the schedule and everything it'll show you all my socials all that where you can catch me offline online anywhere i do enjoy interacting with you guys so do leave a comment down the bottom but i will leave you with a bit more of a battle against him and i hope this helps guys if you have any strategies that you want to help people out with jump them in the comments help other people out maybe i've missed some things or maybe it's a better solo strategy than i've named but all in all if you've got a good tower shield and you've got a good blunt weapon it's just a matter of tactics and timing cheers guys i appreciate it enjoy <laughs> oh shit the stamina yeah, it's not bad I'm so glad we got that serpent shoe though. Fuck, that's making a difference. He really doesn't look here. <laughs> yeah, I'm 60. He's almost Jesus. down. I just need stamina. Are you right over there? I don't know. I can't see where you are. I'm about to die. He just got yeah, me. Yeah, you do. Alright. We got him. No, I'm dead! Oh, seriously? <laughs> it was one hit! Gay! Yeah. Okay. One fucking hit! Alright, we'll hang with you. Old mate's talking. Seems one of the many bones in his belly was a wishbone. This bone contains powerful magic. It can locate silver veins, but also lead you to buried treasure. Treasure. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. As always, drop in the comments. Drop a sub. Drop in my stream. More than happy to interact with all of you. Cheers, guys. I appreciate it.